and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Big Golf Talk. This is gonna suck. Hey, 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 hey. A place for information, advice, golf news, golf reviews, and of course, golf humor. Oh, man, I'm taking a leak in my pants. Big Golf Talk. It's showtime, baby. Big's Golf Talk is presented by U.S. Golf Challenge with Tito's Vodka. Qualify for the King's Cup at a local qualifying near you. Visit usgolfchallenge.com for that qualifier. Also sponsored in part by Bulls Apparel. Be bold, be unique, be noticed. Skin sunscreen, no greasy feeling, just protection. Encore Golf. Photo Ball Marker. McNally 22. UFO Tour Golf. Ready Putt, and Spider Divot Tools. Oh, I got to love a Spider Divot Tool when you make that ball mark on the green. It's the safest tool for the green. Connect with Biggs Golf Talk on the social media networks, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Golf Ball. Subscribe to us on YouTube and iTunes. We're available in the Google Play Music Store, on Alexa devices, also on iHeartRadio and Spotify. Our website, www.biggsgolftalk.com, B-I-G-G-S, golftalk.com. You can also enter the contest there as well. I am Big John Vic, and he is the golf father, the mythical one himself, Bill Cuevas. Good morning, Billy. Good morning, Big John. How's it going? Oh, it's going good, man. I, I tell you what, those this Midwest weather is really putting a cramp in my I got the itch to get out. You know what? I I, I, I got to tell you. So my OGO travel golf bag has yet to be uh-huh. unpacked from Orlando. It is sitting next <laughs> to me in the studio that. here, and it has not been unpacked since I got back. I'm, I'm just going to say that I, I finished putting my stuff away and unpacking on Friday afternoon. <laughs> that? That, that's when i finished uh because i've been so busy and then i i came home and i, I was sick i went right from like i said right from the course and when we left you know when we left the show right to the, the you know the urgent care yeah and yeah i, I mean i had to take care of myself and and i felt like i, I got a pound and i didn't have the flu thank god right but double ear infection uh, nasal passage was infected. I mean, it was crazy. You know, it really was nuts. But I'm finally starting to get my voice back. I'm starting to, you know, get back in the routine. So, you know, and then, of course, I've been working on, on my uh, my office, you know, because I'm getting it ready right. for all our uh, YouTube videos that we're going to be doing, the reviews and stuff like that. So I, I've done a lot of work on there. I painted my wall, which I thought was more important. I got my Tito's Vodka golf ball, 19th hole sign up. I have some special things up that I posted up. I'm waiting for some more stuff from the USDC now that everybody knows they're a sponsor of ours. Uh, so there's a lot of things going up there. And, of course, my Folds of Honor stuff that I have up there. So, uh, yeah, I, you know what? Not for nothing. I'm, I, I need some something from Biggs. i got to figure out how I'm going to get – Something for that screams Biggs Golf Talk. Yeah, we gotta think about something like that Biggs. We, need, we, have, we have to do a, like a like a, a back screen or something like that, and and have it. Yeah, be like, yeah. we need to do. Yeah, yeah. I just thought about that. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be having all. I'll the definitely, I'll up definitely there. do something about that. Well, you know what? I got some new yeah. artwork on the way too. I think the new artwork is gonna look better behind you than the old artwork. So. All right, cool. Yeah, I think you know. I, I like you know not for nothing, man. Like a decal, right? Of our our caricatures with big golf talk. Yeah, that would be like super awesome. I think people would like that. Yeah, so you, that's when we do our travel shows because you know a lot of shows this uh, coming up here. I, I think that would be great. Absolutely. Hey, speaking of a lot of things that's going on, we also have a contest going on, giveaways got going on. We we did it all of 2018. I don't think we missed a month of a giveaway in, in 2018. We plan on doing the same in 2019. And for the month of February, we start off with a great, great giveaway. $250 gift card online only for Dunning Golf Apparel. Uh, that is on, on our website currently. And I'll tell you what, Billy, almost 500 entries into that one. And one set of Golf Pride Tour Velvet Align Grips and Choice of Tour Sensor Putter Grip 
for you guys. And uh, again, almost 500 entries in just eight short days. And it really, I, I would say six short days because we didn't post it until like February 2nd. Yeah. And that, 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 can you imagine that? How many, everybody's on. I'm seeing it all over social media, which I love. I love that they're following, you know, Golf Pride and, and Dunning. They're ste- they stepped up and they're going to town, which, which is awesome. I, I like it when, you know, they're visiting the sites and checking us out and going back and getting those extra entries. I'm seeing it on Twitter because they're sharing it. I love it. I love the fact that they're showing love to, you know, to our sponsors. And that helps. You know what I mean? Because they got a lot of really neat stuff. Dun- Dunning, they're, they're closed. We, we got to visit them. And the clothes are absolutely amazing. I, I love it. That, that it's really top quality clothing that they have. You know, it, it's different. It's, you know, it's, I, I like it. it. It's it's more, how would you say, I don't know. It, it, it's not just for golf. As a matter of fact, that, as yeah. well, also uh-huh. later on, we're going to be talking with somebody special that we're going to mm-hmm. announce a partnership, a contract signing, as a matter of fact, with somebody that is going to give the female aspect of fashion, of golf itself, of you know women's side of you, and even give you a pro tip out there, no matter if you're man or woman, right? We're going to announce that contract mm-hmm. signing, but that person is also going to give you a review on YouTube, going to give you content on the show. So you want to make sure that you follow us and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Bill. Don't don't you agree? Oh, absolutely. You know, they, they should be there. Hopefully they're there already, and hopefully they are uh, subscribed and listening because we, we have a lot, a lot of, of content. Yep. Yeah, we have a lot of things going on. We have a lot of videos. Uh, we have a lot of production going on from the videos that were shot at the... Uh, As a matter of fact, a new show. one will be going up this Monday. Yeah. So so you got you to check them out. There's a lot of really good content that we... A lot of great people that we got to talk with. And, and it, it's, that's just the beginning. Because we're going to be talking to these people throughout the year. Uh, you know, like, one of my favorites out of the show was actually uh, Lynx Golf. Uh, and I'm looking at my at my buddy now, Larry the Lynx. Yeah, uh, that they gave us. Remember we went to visit them, and we after we finished the video, yeah. I was looking at, at the I, Lynx. I got Larry like, the Lynx down here Larry. with me right now. Yeah, yes. You know what I mean? So I got Larry the Lynx looking at me, and we're just chilling. He's my buddy. You know what I mean? He's right next to uh, my eagle over there. So I'm just chilling. Out. I got him looking at me, and it's it's my reminder because it's funny because I went in the garage and, and I took pictures. I I got Lynx. From old school, you know what I mean. So it, it's not a new company. A lot of people are like, "Huh, we didn't hear about Links." Well, Links, it is the company that we heard about in the past, and they're, they're coming big time. I love that switch face, and you know, you've been hearing the chuckles about it right. because of twist face and this face and that face, and now you got the switch, switch face. face. But you know yeah. what? Yeah, it, it's like we. I tried it. I went there, and I went through the process of getting fit. You know, from the different loss, from the different way the face was in a in a draw position, whether it was in a straight, you know, regular, you know, unbiased, not not you know for cutting for anything, just straight face. And I tried the one if, if you want to hit a face, and let me tell you, it works. You can see the difference. Right. And the thing is, what people don't understand it, you you can hit that consistent. Once that face is set that way, it's more consistent, and I like it. And and what the biggest part, you know, that we talked about. And we're going to have them on the show, you know, in the future, in the near future. I love the fact that one day we could have our same exact driver, everything set. And especially in Florida or wherever we play, one day we're playing, there's no wind. Whip out your ten and a half. The next day, all of a sudden, it's blistering wind. You can drop down. So they give you two two different faces with it. All right. So we... it, I, think it, I think it's cool. Yep. Before I, I, I announce what we have on the show, uh, just to let you know, we do have a veteran – Flag giveaway, Old Glory, the kind folks, Mm -hmm. uh, Chris Morgan at Flags for Vets Made by a Vet is donating this flag. And this contest is going to go on every three months. So our next winner will be chosen on April the 1st. And then three months from that point on, we'll choose another winner. But all entries will remain in the pot, if you will, um, if you didn't Mm -hmm. win. So once you enter, you'll always be entered until the contest does run out for the year. Um, But listen... 
no matter if the story consists of anything about a veteran, anything about a veteran, a family member, yep. their career, mm-hmm. what they've done in the community. Maybe it's their birthday mm-hmm. and you want to do something for that veteran yeah. for their birthday, an anniversary, mm-hmm. or just because he or she served our country with honor. We want yep. to hear that story. And the only way to hear that story, if you go to BigScoffTalk.com and go to our contest page, you'll see the picture of the flag there and everything else. And also be, be sure to like the Facebook page, Flags for Vets, made by Bet Vet, and also read Chris Morgan's story and why he got into doing that. But he's donating this flag for us to give away here on Big Scoff Talk. So we hope that you guys take the effort and just send us an email. Tell us why you, the veteran you're interested in giving this to. Tell us a story. Just tell us a story. That's all. Doesn't matter what the yeah. story could be. Just tell us a story yeah, exactly. about that veteran. We want to hear about it. Yes. Yeah. Being that you talked about the veteran stuff, you know, I, I had a passing this week uh, of an uncle. You know, my aunt's brother passed away. And I, I know you saw the story yes. on it. And yes. I, I mentioned I wanted to dedicate the show to him. Uh, and and it, it just seemed like a perfect intro when, when you were talking about the flags and any story. You know, he, he served 30 years in the Army Reserve. And not only that, you know, he, he was a Vietnam veteran uh, and an Army Ranger. So he, he served our country for a long time. And, you know, I mean, yeah, he, he was seven years old, but nobody ever, you know, nobody wants to lose a loved one. And especially unexpected. Right. So my, my prayers are out with my family, especially my aunt. You know, that's her only brother. Uh, I'm hoping to go when I go to my sister's wedding in a couple of weeks, I get to go visit her. It's just really short, you know, for me to get up there now, but I love them. And, and those are the stories you want to hear folks. If you have somebody, a loved one, you know, give us their story. They don't have to give it to us. You give it to us and you know, maybe they'll be getting the flag. So get those entries in. Absolutely. Biggs golf talk.com B I G G S golf talk.com on the program today. We have your golf life report. Horseshoe Bay Resort is going to be joining us. United States Golf Challenge is going to be joining us. And your product service of the week, Biggs Product Service of the Week, here on Biggs Golf Talk. So let's get to it. Let's sit under our first break. When we come back, a special guest is going to be joining us to announce a contract signing. What does this contract signing have to do with? You have to wait and find out right after this break here on Biggs Golf Talk. We'll be right back. Hey, everyone. Biggs Golf Talk is now on iHeartRadio. Download the app for free or go to iHeart.com and search for Biggs Golf Talk. Be sure to save us as a favorite so that you'll know when we're on. Join the millions of iHeartRadio listeners and listen to Biggs Golf Talk. Golf Talk for golfers. A golf ball that performs for you. The Encore Avant 55, hot off the tee, a formulated core that delivers more energy and utilizes soft cell technology to achieve ultra-low 55 compression. This blend of innovation and simplicity provides more distance and greater feel. The caliber, maximum accuracy, a patent hollow metal core creates significant rifle spin while reducing side spin allowing the ball to travel along a straighter trajectory. The Encore Elixir Tour Ball, hot list winner. The premium cast urethane cover delivers a soft and pure feel off the club face and gives the Elixir ultimate green side control, durability, and unmatched putting performance. Be sure to check out their combo packages and sign up for the loyalty program. Gift cards are also available. For more information, their website is www.encoregolf.com. And be more with Encore. Skin Sunscreen is a premium preventative oxybenzone-free lotion formula that protects you from the sun and skin cancer. Skin Sunscreen was formulated specifically for golfers that can be used by anyone that is in the sun. Their SPF 30 Plus sunscreen contains titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, is very water resistant and delivers UVA, UVB protection. If you have been looking for a sunscreen that is oil free, Skin Sunscreen is for you. Use it as a part of your daily hygiene and be protected. Skin Sunscreen shares a personal commitment to preventing skin cancer of every type, uniting their resources in a quest to spare others the pain, cost and loss associated with this insidious health threat of skin cancer. Skin Sunscreen proudly promotes 
skin as the optimal wellness preventative in your daily hygiene routine. Skin Sunscreen is a proud supporting partner of the Folds of Honor and the official sunscreen of Biggs Golf Talk. To purchase online or find a retailer near you, their website is www.skinsunscreen.com. Grab fashion by the horns and look good with Bulls Apparel. Pride, excellence, uniqueness, fulfillment. Bulls Apparel is a unique golf apparel that has style, design detail, and color combinations blend seamlessly with high-performance fabric choices. Along with a custom-made apparel line, they have designed an accessory line to complement their brand. Be sure to check out the USA Patriot Polo along with other great designs. There is something for you. Looking for a custom polo? Working with UFO Tour Golf, they can take your brand to another level. Be the bull and wear Bulls Apparel. Visit www.bullsapparel.com. Unique, durable, wearable, and multifunctional. Creativity has no limits. Bulls Apparel is the official apparel of Biggs Golf Talk. www.bullsapparel.com. That is B-U-L-L-Z Apparel. Com. Be bold, be unique, be noticed. This is Big's Golf Talk with Big John Vick and Bill the Golf Father Quabus. Welcome back to Big's Golf Talk right here on the Lake County Sports Network, Stitcher Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and always can say, hey, Alexa, listen to Big's Golf Talk podcast on iHeartRadio, and she will play it. So... Bill the Golf Father Quavis, Big John Vic, the website, www.bigsgolftalk.com, B-I-G-G-S, golftalk.com. Don't forget to go subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Listen, folks, it's just not going to be equipment reviews. There's going to be interviews on the video side of it, content from that. There's also going to be a female aspect of it on YouTube as well. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit. That's what you call a tease. Joining Bill, the golf father, Quavis, and myself is our other sidekick all the way from the 2019 PGA Merchandise Show. She is the good-looking one, LPGA diva, Symmetric Tour diva, and one of the co-owners of Backswing Golf Events, the one and only, ladies and gentlemen, Amanda Robertson. How you doing, Amanda? <laughs> I am wonderful, guys. How are you? You know, so great. We Bill has a nickname, the Golf Father. I have a nickname, Biggs. But Amanda, what? What is just? We got Amanda Robertson. So what is? We, we like we got like Amanda the Angel Robertson. Well, I don't know if everyone would agree with that, but uh, <laughs> we could try to make that fly for sure. <laughs> I'm always down. I'm I'm down for a good name. Um, well, we, you know, we, you know, <laughs> we all know that the devil was an angel. <laughs> At, one time. At one time. At yes. one time, yes. <laughs> no, I, uh, you know, hanging out with you guys and being called the golf diva for a while now. I think has the kinda, golf diva is okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's it's kind of edgy. I like it. Um, but yes. but maybe a little more realistic. <laughs> I'm pretty oh, no, sassy. We I, I, well, I we're we're gonna definitely. keep it, Amanda, because Amanda, you are actually gonna be a, a regular part of this program. I am, guys. I'm really excited. We're going to have a lot of fun with all the new stuff coming up. We'll talk about that in just a little bit, but nice little roundtable discussion as we come back off of segment number one. Um, PJ Merchandise Show, Amanda. I mean, we had such a great time. Obviously, I couldn't maximize my efforts from being sick. Billy got sick, and I know you were suffering some sickness. But you also was doing your own thing there and meeting with other people and all that stuff. Um, anything special that impressed you out of, out of the PJ Merchandise Show? Yeah, you know, this year um, was the first year I've been able to actually go around for myself and look at products and actually look from a different perspective. Normally, I'm one of the vendors or, or working a booth. So this year, I really took everything in a little bit more. Um, and I was just so impressed that the new product zone always blows me away because 
every year I think, what more could they come out with? <laughs> what more could they possibly do? And every year that new product zone is filled, whether it's new gadgets to help your swing or it's, you know, new clothing or ways to get a golf trip going. It's just amazing that the golf industry is growing and growing. So I was very impressed throughout the whole week, kind of learning more about that. Well, and and especially the inventor zone. I love always visiting that section as well. I mean, to see what people invent and everything else uh, to make golf more fun. It, It is amazing. It really, really is. Yeah. Um, so anything out of the new product zone that caught your eye? Um, you know, you have things like, you know, the fun things like Chippo yeah, and, yeah. and you have those things that can add a lot of fun to a party and, or even in your office when you're, <laughs> when you're bored. But, um, you know, I saw a lot of cool things that I hadn't really been, um, accustomed to. I know you guys work with sick cups. Um, and it was the first time learning about them. And I, I love the new stuff they're coming out with and they're doing. Um, so for me, I just was like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> right. I was, I was like, Ooh, I want that. And I want to learn more about this. I know, um, one of the, the big talks that I heard a lot of people generating, um, was the dash caddy. Um, it kind of was odd to me. And then once I got over there and kind of learned more about it, I could see the potential and, um, you know, it sticks in your cup holder and basically holds everything for you. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, exactly what you're talking about. Yes, yeah. I, I, I saw I saw that too, and, and and I like that's the one where you put it on top of the steering wheel. Yes, it sits there and it opens up yep. and holds all your stuff. Yeah, I, yes. I saw that. I I liked it. I I I think if, if he can, you know when he grows and he can drop the price point down just a little yes. bit more. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I think for us, you know, as regular golfers. I think that will be the only problem. And I think that's what a lot of the guys have, you know, when they're, right. when they're in the golf companies and they're a little bit smaller than, than the bigger guy. They, right. they need that financial backing. So they can, instead of building a hundred, they can build a thousand and get their costs down. Cause I, I yeah. really did like it. I just, I, I liked the you, you, concept. I liked, I liked yeah. it as well, but the only thing I don't like about it, it it's, I think mm-hmm. that thing it, it's not transportable. I mean, in other words, no. it's not something you're going to have in your trunk and, and connect it. it it's no. going to be something you want to put on a golf cart on a permanent basis. So for yes. those that have golf carts in Florida, Arizona, and, and drive it's around through the communities, ideal. that is ideal. Yes. Um, I don't it think is. I don't think it's transparent enough to, to, to stay in the Midwest or sustain itself in the Midwest for people wanting to take it off the golf cart and store it for the winter and then, you know, take right. it with them to the golf course, you know, and, and, no. and apply it. I don't think that it's going to be that portable. Um, but I don't think God. that's his market right. at all. Exactly. I think yeah. his market is that retired community. Everybody has their own golf cart. Yep. They like things yep. like that. I think he could make a killing in that market if he, if he really narrows down his market and he understands that that's where it's going to be. But I love the exactly. concept. And, and also, you know, it's just, Sometimes some of these gadgets that come out, you're like, I, I don't know what market that fits in. So it's cool to see these new products and some ingenuity behind it. Um, so, yeah. Something That's what we, the PGA show is all about. Yep, something we have yet to talk about, and I was waiting for you to come on the show to talk about because you are a Wilson staff player, was M. the Cortex driver. I mean, Billy, we have yet to touch on that driver. Um, the winner yeah. of Driver versus Driver, by the way, uh, last year. Uh, did you get yes. a chance to swing that driver, and, and is that driver for real? So, yes, I did get a chance to swing it. Um, actually, before the PGA show, uh, I went in and um, tested it out. As everyone knows, and I'm not afraid to talk about it, yes, I am with Wilson, but the only club in my bag that isn't Wilson is my driver. And that is because in the past I haven't been a huge fan, and I feel that your driver sets you up on the course. So when mm-hmm. I tried the Cortex, I will say I got very similar numbers to uh, what I'm playing now, which is a TaylorMade. And so I'm, I'm thrilled. If I can find something that is comparable, I, I want it to be Wilson. And I was very impressed um, and very excited for them because they were kind of lacking in that area. Yeah, and you know what? And, and for you to say that, because Bill and I have seen you hit tee shots, so we know mm-hmm. how good of a golf player you are from the tee. So, you know, when you test something like that, you really maximize the effort when you take a tee shot. And, and to say that, I mean, that, that actually well, is a compliment. Pretty picky. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I, I am. I would say that out of all the clubs in my bag, driver, I'm most picky about, and I will not settle. Um, you know, I think irons these days, they're very comparable across the board. Uh, the technology is just there. And, and like, you know, let's face it, an iron, everybody sticks their shaft in it that they right, want. Right. So it doesn't matter per se. All You know, everything's going to hit pretty comparable. But driver is something that I'm super picky. The sound, the look at setup, and then whether or not you're getting the distance off the tee. So, yeah, I'm kind of a driver snob, guys. <laughs> mm. Now let's There's talk- nothing wrong with Absolutely. Let's talk about so because we have just a couple minutes here, but let's talk about something with backswing golf events. You guys got to get ready for your season, or are you guys already in season with your company? Yeah. So we have pretty much kicked off 2019. 2018 was great. We did over 170 events, which we are so beyond blessed to be in the space that we're, we are and that our people are wanting us out there to be a part of their corporate or charity outing. And, uh, yeah, 2019, we're hoping to hit that 200 mark, um, if not above. And we're just going to keep the momentum going while we have it and keep hiring girls. That's awesome. Uh, by the way, you did add staff last year as well, didn't you? Yes. So we're now up to, I believe, 36 girls. Um, and, you know, most of them are West Coast, but we do have quite a few spread out. So that way our travel costs are down for clients. and. And also, we're just able to cover more surface area. That's awesome. Well, Bill, we have some exciting news when it comes to Amanda, the golf diva, Robertson. And uh, that news is we have signed Amanda to a contract here on Big's Golf Talk. And she will be hosting her own segment. And it's going to be called On Par with Amanda. And then, Amanda, Woo! you have a tagline for that segment, too, don't you? I do, but they're going to have to wait to find out what it That's is. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <Don't wait. laughs> We're not yeah. spoiling it. <laughs> Good. Nope. Le- leave it up to a golf diva to tease the everybody out there. She's just, you know, that's... <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I but, love it. But, I love it. But we guarantee, guarantee you, you will be pleased. <laughs> yes i'm so yeah. thrilled to be a part of you guys and um i just can't thank you enough for the opportunity and we we want to talk a little golf and um touch on some things that i think um will come a little bit more from the female perspective but also just some of the controversial stuff going on on tour and inside the ropes and some mm-hmm. of those shocker moments when you're watching you know pga or lpga events on tv that we don't really ever get to discuss any, mm-hmm. any, yeah, I know, absolutely. I know you just got back from waste management and, and all that stuff. Any juicy stuff out of waste management? Yeah. So, um, of course, we have the highlights. You know, obviously, um, Ricky, what <laughs> we had a slight heart attack, uh, at the end of or towards the end of Sunday when we saw his lead just deteriorating. But I'm so proud of him and happy for him. Yeah, I know same he here. struggled with closing the deal, um, as we all do. And, um, you know, I know. The biggest controversy was the uh, penalty, and no one could understand why it wasn't two strokes and it was only one stroke. And let me tell you, for the last you know week, that's all I've heard was the controversy over that ruling. And so, um, you know, I've heard opinions that oh, they don't know what they're talking about, and it should have been two, and now it's one. So it's interesting because everybody is so opinionated. But in rules, there's only one right answer. That's right. That's right. Yep. Well, I'm looking forward to having you a part of that new segment. And by the way, that segment will be sponsored by Backswing Golf Events. And uh, how can people find out more information about Backswing Golf Events? You can contact uh, me through my Instagram at a Robertson Golf, or go to Backswing Golf Events on Instagram, or just go to backswinggolfevents dot com, and that's where we are. And pretty soon you will see a profile, a bio of Amanda Robertson on BigsGolfTalk.com. Yes. So I don't, to I don't even think the ink's dry yet. So <laughs> <laughs> we will get there. We, we will get there. We don't need an ink. And, and the thing is that, you know, uh, we want our listeners to know, you know, Amanda's busy. You know, she is running yes. back swing. Uh, she travels the, the country a lot. She, she travels a lot. I mean, she did the, the you know, she was in France last year in 2018. So she has a lot on her plate. So we're not going to say that every week she's going to be on. She might be, but she most likely won't be. But we're going to make sure that when she is on, 
She's going to have a great segment. She's going to be do videos for us. She's going to be doing reviews, women's clothes. I mean, yeah. if you're a guy and you want, you have questions about driving or anything else, don't, yeah, Amanda's on, 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 the, on the female tours, but you know what? Amanda can pound the ball about 270 yards, 270. So <laughs> I challenge Amanda, most men. About it, if, if you're not on a right, PGA tour, I challenge most men out there to outdrive Amanda Robertson. But that, that's what I'm saying, because, you know, you got those guys that are going to be a little timid and say, oh, I ain't going to ask her. You know what? Well, you know <laughs> right. what? Her, shaft is, her shaft is stiffer than theirs. So we, we want you to ask your questions. Get out there. And let's get this thing rolling. Don't be shy. Just If you don't hear her on one second, we'll let you guys know when she's going to be on. For but, sure. You know, shoot us, yeah, shoot, if you see her on social media and you follow her for backswing events or her personal accounts, reach out to her. You know, message her. She's always on there doing her stories and everything. She asks yes. you some questions. She can come on the show and answer. She could do a short video. Yes. And it might be on Big Golf Talk. So we have our YouTube channel that we're doing this year. So she's going to be a little bit of everywhere with us. And we, we want we want to cover everything. We don't want anybody to be discriminated. We but, want women to join us. And yes. I know they're going to feel more comfortable, you know. Doing but you know what, you. Billy? The only way people uh-huh. are going to get notifications and know when Amanda releases that on par with Amanda video and has a mm-hmm. review or answers somebody questions or is on Big's Golf Talk, the only way they could find that stuff out, Billy, is by following us, subscribing to that YouTube yep. channel. That's the only way you guys yep. are going to find out when this Golf Diva will be in video or on the show or both yes. by subscribing mm-hmm, sure. and following us. So make sure you do that. Yeah, and, Not sure. and if, they, if they want to find out more about Amanda, you know, Amanda's going to be on our website. Yep. Her link's going to be there. Yep, so all, her, really, really uh, yep. all her social media is going to be there. Yes, absolutely. Great. Well, yeah, Thank I encourage you. people to reach out and uh, definitely don't be afraid to ask questions, and I would be more than happy to address them and answer. I know – a lot of people have questions that kind of hold back and don't want to reach out on Instagram or, and I'm totally the opposite. You want to shoot me an email, you want to uh, give me a shout out. I will try to cover whatever I can cover in our time. Um, and, and let me just settle this right now. No, Larry, she will not marry you. <laughs> I'm just, pu- I'm I, just I get a few of those requests. I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me just end that question right now. <laughs> I love it. All right. There you go. Hey, Amanda, it's great talking to you once again. It's always great talking yes. to you and, and texting you and all that stuff and us talking. And, you know, I'm looking forward to this this great partnership and everything else. And uh, we wish you guys – you wish you nothing but the best of luck as you get ready to travel the country. Well, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. And I'm so excited for 2019 with Big Golf Talk. That's right. More Big Golf Talk coming your way right here. We'll be right back with your Golf Life Report. Have you ever seen a tour pro line up a putt with a dirty ball? No way. A clean ball rolls accurately, and accurate putts mean lower scores. The solution? Ready Putt. It's the putter cover reinvented. Ready Putt has a patented ball cleaner that's made to absorb and retain water. All you need to do is add water, and it remains wet throughout your round, giving your ball the perfect shine. It also has a magnetic surface to hold your ball marker and divot repair tool. Let's say you switch putters from round to round using a blade, mid mallet, or large mallet. Ready Putt Original has you covered. The universal design with its unique foam insert fits 99% of all putters. It has the same water retaining ball cleaner and magnetic surface features so you'll have everything you need to prepare your putt. Look, putting is hard enough. Accurate putts start with a clean ball, and a clean ball starts with Ready Putt. For more information about Ready Putt, visit ReadyPutt.com. That is ReadyPutt.com. Clean it and sink it. Golf Dots is a unique high-resolution ink transfer to personalize your golf game. Golf balls, golf shoes, and clubs, Golf Dots can personalize it for you. Golf Dots confirms to the USGA rules and doesn't alter the trajectory of your golf ball. Tour proven on all major tours, Golf Dots is designed and made in America. Many styles to choose from that will fit every golfer's personality. New styles are being released on a regular basis. So to order your Golf Dots, visit www.golfdots.com. Golf Dots is also available in many golf shops. The website for Golf Dots is www.golfdots.com. 
And if you enter promo code BIGJOHN15, that's B-I-G-G-J-O-N-15, you get a discount for your golf dots. Or call 847-829-4238. Personalize your golf game today with Golf Dots. This is the Golf Life Report. I'm Travis Harper. Here at Golf Life, we are all about helping you improve your game. We caught up with Randy Chang, and he shared with us the Sock to Sock Drill. Hi, my name is Randy Chang. I'm the Director of Instruction here at Beautiful Journey at Pachanga. I'm going to talk about some putting drills today that you can do to help your putting stroke and also feel for distance. All the tour players have a certain amount of things that they do in common in the mechanics of their putting stroke. And that would be, they keep their head and knees still, what they take it back is what they follow through, the speed they take it back is the same speed they go through. So what I see with amateurs is they either take it back really short and try to accelerate through, or they take it back real far and stop, kind of a hit. What we do here is a fun little drill out at our academies. We call it our sock to sock drill. I happen to have uh, my fun socks out here that my whole junior academy seems to have a craze for these socks these days. So, uh, my love for the, for the angels. I have my angel socks here by stance. And what I do is use those to help my students picture what they're supposed to do. We call it our sock to sock drill. All I want them to do is try to maintain that Y that when you get set up, I want you to go from sock to sock with an even pace back and through. One and two. That creates an even pace in your putting stroke and an even distance back and through. So when I go sock to sock, it creates a nice roll to the ball that helps sock to sock. If you can create that even tempo back and through, you're gonna make more putts. If you have any questions, come see me at randychangpj.com or at pachanga.com. Great golfing. Would you like hundreds of golf video lessons from top golf teachers? With the Golf Life channel app, you can watch on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, or any Apple or Android phones or tablets. Watch anywhere you play golf. See videos about new golf gear, tours, or great golf courses, and advice from tour players. Get a ton of golf video in the Golf Life channel app now for your TV or mobile device. Search Golf Life channel in iTunes or Google Play Store on Amazon Prime, Roku, or visit club.golflife.com to download your Golf Life channel app today. I'm Travis Harbour, and that is this week's Golf Life Report. Hey, this is Boxer Shorts, and I've got some big news. Big's Golf Talk is now on iHeartRadio. You can download their app for free or go to iHeart.com and search for Big's Golf Talk. And make sure while you're there that you favorite us so that you'll know when we're on. Join all the other millions of listeners on iHeartRadio and listen to Big's Golf Talk. We're the best. Right. The Spider Divot Tools revolutionary new design is better for greens and makes ball mark repairs easy. No sharp ends or dirt in your pocket, the Spider achieves amazing results with little or no skill. With a simple push-pull action, the Spider makes ball marks disappear quicker and better for a smoother putting surface. The Spider includes a magnetic ball marker and is made of milled aluminum to last a lifetime. It also makes a great gift for your next tournament and that special golfer who has it all. The Spider Tool from Instagolf is a must-have in every golfer's bag. Visit www.instagolf.net today and enter promo code BIGG Golf Talk to get 10% off your purchase and be sure to check out all of their great products by Instagolf. That's instagolf.net, I N S T A golf.net. A golf ball that performs for you. The Encore Avant 55, hot off the tee, a formulated core that delivers more energy and utilizes soft cell technology to achieve ultra-low 55 compression. This blend of innovation and simplicity provides more distance and greater feel. The caliber, maximum accuracy, a patent hollow metal core creates significant rifle spin while reducing side spin allowing the ball to travel along a straighter trajectory. The Encore Elixir Tour Ball, hot list winner. 
The premium cast urethane cover delivers a soft and pure feel off the club face and gives the Elixir ultimate green side control, durability, and unmatched putting performance. Be sure to check out their combo packages and sign up for the loyalty program. Gift cards are also available. For more information, their website is www.encoregolf.com and be more with Encore. Golf Talk for golfers on Big's Golf Talk. Back to Bill the Golf Father Quabus and Big John Vic. Welcome back to Big's Golf Talk right here on the Lake County Sports Network, Stitcher Radio, iHeart Radio, and on Spotify. And don't forget, you can listen to us on your Alexa devices as well. Don't forget to head over to BigsGolfTalk.com, B-I-G-G-S, GolfTalk.com for the latest giveaway. And boy, oh boy, do we have a great giveaway going on there. So check it out at BigsGolfTalk.com. A Dunning Golf Apparel $250 gift card is being given away and plus much more. So check it out at BigsGolfTalk.com. Big John Vick along with the golf father, Bill Cuevas. And, uh, Billy, you know, we love destinations. We love to travel. We love to take Big's Golf Talk on the road. And seems one destination we have yet to, to I guess, cross the line into is Texas. And we really, I mean, yeah. Houston wants us down there. And mm-hmm. other p- people in Texas want us down there. Well, how about a resort that has right now going on, and we get to probably, you well, you get to see it soon, a yep. $70 million renovation project this year. Uh, talk about Horseshoe Bay Resort. They finalized a $70 million resort multi-course renovation project just this year. Uh, Austin, Texas Resort is now positioned as one of America's premier golf destinations. Talking about Horseshoe Bay Resort. And uh, are you looking forward to getting down there in Austin, Texas there, uh, Billy? You going to take your 10-gallon hat, your 5-gallon hat, and <laughs> hop on a horse and just gallop on to the golf course? You, you, you know, Big te- Texas has been on my radar for years. You know, people you know from the Foles of Honor have been trying yep. to get me there. and uh, A lot of my friends live in Texas. And it, it's, it's just... All, all your exes sick. live in Texas. Yeah. Yeah, and I just haven't been able to get there. You know, the times just don't work out with, you know, with the, the different trips that I have and different locations and stuff like that. And, and this year, I got like, I, so far, I got about 11 trips that I have, and I didn't care what it was. I moved stuff around, and I, I believe it's September, in the middle of September, I'll be going to Horseshoe Bay Resort, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I mean, seventy million dollars in upgrades. I mean, it looks beautiful right now. I I, I can't imagine the stuff that they've done because I've checked out the site a while back. Uh, they got everything from dining, golf, uh, pools, family packages for spring break. They got everything going. I I'm, I was seeing like they even have shows. Uh, but you know, me and the spas. You know, that, that's one of my biggest things. Yeah, you I got spoiled, boy. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, you know, I, I had never done the spas before, and. And I did at one location. I felt I was like, nah, men don't do spas. Yeah, they do. And I, do <laughs> I do those golf spas. So men love spas, but they have a lot of stuff. I mean, for lake adventures, they have, they're in wine country. So you can do all kinds of stuff at this resort. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And 72 holes, sign me up. I'm in. Well, let's bring in our next guest, Billy, to talk about this renovation and what they have going on uh, at Horseshoe Bay Resort. He's the director of golf. His name is Anthony Holder on the line with us right now. And, Anthony, welcome into Big's Golf Talk, my friend. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. You know, I I, I messed with Billy about galloping on horses to the golf course, but uh, when you talk about Texas, that's all you could think about is cowboys, you know, and oil oil farms. Um, But golf courses, I mean, Texas has some hidden gems and it seems to me a seventy million dollar project you guys have launched this year. Seems to me you guys want to be number one, not just in Texas but across the country. Hey, no doubt, no doubt. And actually, that uh, that seventy million dollar number has grown to uh, the tune of eighty million dollars, uh, which is just a fantastic investment. Um, 
you know, I'm originally from Texas, and I had left for 14 years. Uh, and it took a little convincing. I grew up in Dallas to come back to Texas, but when I came out and saw this property in this area, you're talking about Texas Hill Country here. It's about 45 miles west of uh, of Austin. Um, but man, just some of the vistas and you know the lakes and the streams and the waterfalls, and it's just. It's unbelievable, and what they've they've done with this money um, is virtually touched every touch point that a guest would experience uh, during their stay with us. So, anywhere from you know the the golf shops to the restaurants to the yacht club to the marina to the pools to the rooms, um, everywhere is is virtually new product. So it's an exciting time for us. We've got some of the best and most challenging golf courses uh, that you can imagine, and a contrast of style of golf course here. So it's a it's a it's an exciting time for us, and uh, you know we're just happy to be able to showcase and expose it to others. How many golf courses does Horseshoe Bay Resort have? Yes, yeah, so we have four 18-hole championship-style golf courses, and what's unique is we also have an 18-hole all real grass putting course uh which is so fun we've got this uh 360 bar that's uh positioned right in the center of this uh putting course so man this thing has been a hit it is unbelievable so we've got you know tvs all in this 360 bar so there's not a bad seat in the house and then you've got the kids out there playing and you know we're talking waterfalls exotic birds i think it was a 40 or a 4 million dollar um uh, putting course so it's you know it's lit i mean it's uh yeah when you come out in september you've really got to you check it out uh and and walk it or at least uh play a few holes on it man it's uh it's nothing like it's, anything i mean they got big in thing. addition to that they got two courses that are robert trent jones senior golf courses and yeah and three yeah. Oh, three, three. Oh, yeah, wow. three of them. Yeah, and then a Jack Nicholas. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah, you know, you know, it's interesting with that uh, Robert Trent Jones. Uh, and the reason we fell in love with him as, as a designer is um, our original developer you saw this area and he knew, you know, this was going to be a special place, but he didn't really want to tamper with the topography or the landscape. He really wanted someone to come in and craft a golf course in and throughout, not interrupt or disrupt a lot of the landscaping. Um, and so they originally built Slick Rock as the first one, kind of as a trial run. And he did a fantastic job of just incorporating some of the views and the landscaping and really making it feel like a Texas experience, but a quality golf experience at the same time. So, um, you know, that's, that's what kind of solidified the next two courses right after that. And then it was a done deal. And, uh, you know, he did such a really u- a unique job and a very impressive, uh, job with really distinguishing a difference between all three, all three courses, which is so cool. On the four courses that you have, what type mm-hmm. of courses would you uh, would you relate those courses to? Woodlands, Link style. What would you relate those courses to? Man, it is so hard to compare them to anyone else because it's the environment around it. I mean, you're talking. You know, you've got a lot of wildlife out here. You've got a lot of vistas. You've got a lot of views. Um, style of golf course. I'm trying to. I'm trying to I, compare I've, it. I've seen a lot of water, I, I, it streams, like a, lakes. Yeah. It, I mean, yeah. I was, I was looking at some of the, the things, and they call it like Apple Rock, Ram Rock, and I'm mm-hmm. looking at these sources, and I'm like, and, and you can see that they're different. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they, I mean, one, I think it's the Apple Rock that looked like, it, is that like, I don't know if that's yeah. ocean. Where is that off of an ocean? That's, is that where? No, that's on uh, Lake LBJ. LBJ, Lyndon B. Johnson. It's a constant level lake. That's another main attraction to this area. Uh, a lot of recreational lake usage. Um, well, the, we the, about lakes because I've been yeah. I've been to certain lakes that I thought they were oceans. I didn't yeah. know that lakes had like like tides coming in and rough seas. And yeah. I was like, yeah. that's a lake. And they're like, yo, no, that's not the ocean, that's the lake. And I was like, yeah. wow. So those yeah. things are breathtaking because some of the pictures that I've seen, you can see the fog coming in and everything. Right. It, yeah. it looks beautiful. And the elevation, oh, how fast 
elevation because it's yeah. like a lot of the stuff is undulating on well it i don't is. know if it's the fairways where you got trees one course mm-hmm. looks like it's filled with trees the other one looks mm-hmm. like it has uh waterfalls and I, think, mm-hmm. I don't even know what it was, but it yeah. might be a, a the, might be the putting green, but it has a lot of rocks, slick yep. rock. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're gorgeous. Oh, it is, and every course is uh, kind of identified by the rock. You said rock, slick rock, ram rock, apple rock, and they're so different. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just reopened Ram Rock May twenty third, two thousand eighteen, from renovation, uh, and. We did so much work to that golf course, but even before we closed the course, it's been consistently ranked top ten uh, courses that you can play in in the state of Texas. So, and very wow. difficult. It's very notorious. I mean, you talk to everybody, and it's one of the most difficult courses you'll play in the state of Texas from the back tees, right? Um, huh. But it's it's kind of like colonial it's kind of tree lined and you've got to you know there's it's, it's all about strategy and and pl- placing your tee shot in the right right spots and but you have also all these meandering streams and lakes and ponds and mm-hmm. and it's just um uh, it's really uh every single hole is memorable because they're just there's so many characteristics to it you know it's unfortunate it really does some of, like yeah. you know, I was looking at one of the I guess I don't know if it's an island green or whatever, but it yeah, has a bridge right. on it, and then mm-hmm. it has uh, mansions behind it. But they mm-hmm. look far enough that they don't interfere with your play. Uh, yeah. How old are these courses? Because these these are Robert Trenton Jones' senior. Yeah, they're yeah. Not, yeah. They're not his his kids. I mean, even though they're they're getting there up in age, these aren't their, his children. So how how old are the courses? Right, you're looking uh, early 80s. Um, Slick Rock was the first course to open, and I think it's 81. Uh, and then you had 84 and 85 is kind of when Apple Rock and Ram Rock came online. Uh, and then Summit Rock's our newest. They started developing it 2007 and it opened up in 2012. Um, yeah, yeah, so it was kind of some of his last work. And, uh, you know, Robert Trent Jones Jr., uh, is now mm-hmm. kind of taking the lead in the design, and he's came in and consulted with us on some up- updates, and has mm-hmm. been very involved with the with the renovation. So we're keeping it in the family, and he kind of carries that that same style as his father. Yeah, so he does. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was lucky enough to meet him a couple of times because he he's done stuff with the Fold of Honor. Uh, mm-hmm. So I have got to meet him several times. I, I, right. it, it, it's it's you know you meet them. They're such, they're such great you know people. And then they go and they you get mad at them because they're creating these difficult courses. You're like, what were they thinking about when? They this? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Who's going to put this face front right in the middle of my hole? I, I'm looking at it, and my eyeballs are playing tricks. You know, you're like, yeah. oh, it's only 130, and then you look at it, and it was 190. You know, yeah. it just fell off yeah. somewhere. Like, wow, it's kind and, of and malicious, huh? Like, yeah, and it's seamless. You know that there is, it's, right. it's, you, you can't even tell. But I, I love their work that they do, and it, they, they're incredible, both of them. So I'm glad you got his son involved in the other one. But you know, the, besides the golf courses and the, and the renovations, it looks like you got you know you got a lot of fine dining there. You got people that mm-hmm. are doing the weddings. You got all kinds of things. Comedy festival. Yeah. yeah, man, we've got a balloon fest. We got the comedy fest. Uh, we do a, a boat festival. Um, mm-hmm. We do a jazz fest. So. We do a lot of events uh, in this area, and that's kind of what we're known for is our programming, doing special events. I mean, you know, that's a great thing about Texas. You're not challenged for space, right? <laughs> You've got to, <laughs> there's plenty of space around. So we've been able to convert that space into some creative function space and do some really cool things with our events. So, oh, um, what's really neat, you guys, you got a jungle for kids. So, mm-hmm. and by you having, you know, these comedy shows and wine festivals, you open it up as a family-friendly place. Yeah. And yeah, you, that's true. You need yeah. that. What's cool about it, uh, what really resonated with me is, you know, sometimes we take vacations and we're in the city and you kind of still experience the same hustle and bustle. This kind of takes you away to where you feel like you're in that small town feel, mm-hmm. smaller, but you still have 
all the luxuries that you would have in a big city. I mean, you've got the fine dining, you've got the kids club, you've got, you know, all the resort amenities, the pools and the tennis courts and the pickleball and the, you know, just all of it. So it's, it's kind of cool because it's more of a laid back, slower pace. So you actually feel like you're rejuvenating and you're on vacation, you know. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like your home away from home. I was yeah. looking at those yeah. picturesque views from those water condos that you have. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. wow. Can you imagine just yeah. waking up to that? It's awesome. Pretty good. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's incredible. So what, what made, I know, you know, you got, not only do you have four courses and you have mm-hmm. a full 18 on a putting green, which is phenomenal. And, and I didn't mm-hmm. even know that. I, I looked at basically courses. I didn't even yeah. know about that. So that's even better. And, right. you know, for family fun and everything else like that. And mm-hmm. we have the golf. You said fine dining. So yeah. if I went, you know, when, when I go to resort, I don't even have to leave, basically. I can do everything. No. Right then no. and there. It looks like you got some Latin soul in here, too. You mm-hmm. have Cafe, Cafe de Sol, Latina. You got a mm-hmm. yacht club. You got a cabana room. You got, yeah. you cover everything in, in inside for dining. Cover it all, yeah. I think uh, all in all, I think we have six different outlets, uh, food and beverage outlets, so some variety there. We realize that when people come and stay with us, they may not want to eat the same style of food mm-hmm. uh, for four or five days, so we create some variety. We have some theme nights that we do. Uh, we switch it up, and you get a completely different vibe and experience at each of those six different outlets, so... Um, you know, it's we've we've really focused on and worked on give you everything you would ever need here on property. Uh, now, here, here, here's here's one of my favorite questions that I like to know for for resorts. Mm-hmm. For like like say somebody's going, they think about oh, it's a one and done, which I, which I don't believe that that's going to be the case. Mm-hmm. But for somebody that wants to experience the most of what you guys have to offer. How many mm-hmm. days should they be there? You know, they, yeah. they want to touch on the different golf courses you have. Uh, you, right. They want to go into spa. They want to try two or three different restaurants. Is, is it something yeah. that, you know, they can get done in three, four days? You know, yeah. is, is it more? Maybe they, they want to stay there for the whole week. Maybe you have right. better deals if they stay there for the week. You know, how yeah. long are you finding that people are going? Because some, some places, you know, I've gone to places where, I've, you know, I, I've used it as a style where I go there, I stay there, I golf, and I get out. Uh, yeah, this right. is not that place. This, this, no. this has everything. You know, from warm kitchen in your room to mm-hmm. the beautiful views of, of that lake. So the mm-hmm. Lyndon B. Johnson Lake. So mm-hmm. I'm, I, I want to actually stay there. I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. like, if I went there, I want to be there at least four or five days to even get a full grasp of, not saying that I would get to everything, but to get a good idea and a good experience of everything horse, you know, Horseshoe Bay has to be, uh, to offer me. Right. You know, I say uh, four is probably the sweet spot there. I think three would would be cram and everything. There's so much to see, and not only resort property in the area. You've got Fredericksburg, which has all the wineries, distilleries. Um, man, there's some of the best wines. I didn't even know this, but they have some of the top ranked wines in the entire country uh which i never pegged texas as being you know that high on, mm-hmm. on the wine i thought that was a california deal but um man the distilleries the bourbon distilleries the moonshine distilleries and there, there's just a lot to see there's a lot of hiking out here a lot of stuff and then austin you know austin's 40 minutes down the road uh and as you know austin's one of those areas that uh man you Mm-hmm. Take you forever to see see everything. I'm still exploring. I've been here a little over a year, um, but I think four days uh, four days be good. Um, five would give you a little more flexibility to see some other things. But uh, yeah, I think I think four days is kind of the sweet spot. Oh, very good. We're talking with Anthony Holder. He's director of golf at Horseshoe Bay Resort. Anthony, we're short on time here, but I wanted to actually talk about an event that you got, a special event that you're actually going to be having there. So talk about that for a few minutes here. Yeah, so this will be the first year. It's called the Horseshoe Bay Invitational. Uh, It's a two-day event, two-man team, um, and it's an amateur event. Uh, So those... uh, 
those amateurs out there that have got their game in shape. Uh, it's an opportunity to come out and play. It's going to be two great, two day, great days of some competitive golf. Um, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a, a nice little payout and uh, playing some good golf courses around some good people. So um, come on out. Give us a call. Um, call us here at Slick Rock or, or call us at the, at the resort, and uh, we'd be happy to get you signed up. Finally, how can people find out more information about Horseshoe Bay Resort and what you guys have to offer? Yeah, I think the best uh, resource is hsbresort.com. Uh, there you'll find all the outlets, all the phone numbers, contact information, golf packages, uh, things related to programming uh, through our fitness or instruction or spa. Uh, I heard you on the, on the spa action, so we'll have to get you set up in September when you come. Well, thank there, you. <laughs> there you go. I'll be there. And, yeah. Anthony Holder, thank you so much for joining us here on Big's Golf Talk, and we wish you nothing but the best of luck. And uh, I'm sure Billy's going to have some fun down there when he visits down there. So thank you so much, man. Yeah, I look forward to it. Hey, thank you, guys. My pleasure. Appreciate your time. Check out Horseshoe Bay Resort, Texas Lake and Hill Country out there in Texas, hsbresort.com, or give them a call, 877-611-0112. That is 877-611-0112. More Big Scoff Talk coming your way right after this. P-U-T-T-I-N, a little golf rapper. as long as you have fun. Hashtag put a one one if you like this. Class dismissed. Put, put, fire clubs up. 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 Yeah. to clean it up with Ready Pot, the only putter cover with a built-in ball cleaner and magnetic surface. Clean balls roll accurately, meaning you make more putts. Sink more, swear less. Clean up your game with Ready Pot. Skin Sunscreen is a premium preventative oxybenzone-free lotion formula that protects you from the sun and skin cancer. Skin Sunscreen was formulated specifically for golfers that can be used by anyone that is in the sun. Their SPF 30 plus sunscreen contains titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, 
is very water resistant and delivers UVA, UVB protection. If you have been looking for a sunscreen that is oil free, Skin Sunscreen is for you. Use it as a part of your daily hygiene and be protected. Skin Sunscreen shares a personal commitment to preventing skin cancer of every type, uniting their resources in a quest to spare others the pain, cost, and loss associated with this insidious health threat of skin cancer. Skin Sunscreen proudly promotes skin as the optimal wellness preventative in your daily hygiene routine. Skin Sunscreen is a proud supporting partner of the Folds of Honor and the official sunscreen of Biggs Golf Talk. To purchase online or find a retailer near you, their website is www.skinsunscreen.com. Grab fashion by the horns and look good with Bulls Apparel. Pride, excellence, uniqueness, fulfillment. Bulls Apparel is a unique golf apparel that has style, design detail, and color combinations blend seamlessly with high-performance fabric choices. Along with a custom-made apparel line, they have designed an accessory line to complement their brand. Be sure to check out the USA Patriot Polo along with other great designs. There is something for you. Looking for a custom polo? Working with UFO Tour Golf, they can take your brand to another level. Be the bull and wear Bulls Apparel. Visit www.bullsapparel.com. Unique, durable, wearable, and multifunctional. Creativity has no limits. Bulls Apparel is the official apparel of Biggs Golf Talk. www.bullsapparel.com. That is B-U-L-L-Z apparel.com. Be bold. Be unique. Be noticed. This is Big's Golf Talk with Big John Vick and Bill the Golf Father Quabus. Welcome back to Big's Golf Talk right here on the Lake County Sports Network, Stitcher Radio, iHeart Radio, and on Spotify. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube as well. Big John Vick along with the Golf Father Bill Quabus as we are in our number two of BGT. If you haven't heard, we have gone longer. We are two hours now on Big's golf talk and Billy I'll tell you what man uh, our next guest I'm really ecstatic about this interview to find out more information and if those of you don't know about the U.S. Golf Challenge you're about to find out what they are all about U.S. Golf Challenge is sponsored by Tito's Vodka and I'll tell you what folks mm, if you like pineapple juice you like orange juice whatever cranberry juice Tito's goes with almost everything Get yourself some Tito's Vodka and add it to something for an adult beverage. But one thing's for sure, though. What I want you to do is I want you to drink responsibly. You need to be over 21 to enjoy a good adult beverage with Tito's Vodka. Friends, don't let friends drive drunk. And BGT does not let our friends drive drunk. So when you have a Tito's Vodka, drink responsibly. Now, Billy... The U.S. Golf Challenge doing something unique for amateur golfers out there. You actually had a chance to visit and participate in one of the qualifiers trying to get on Team USA. Unfortunately, you could not get the job done, couldn't make it on Team USA, but had a good time doing it and getting there and being a part of the amateur uh, event that they had there. Um, and, and by the way, we're going to break this up in two segments. The first segment, you're going to f- find out what the U.S. Golf Challenge is all about and how you could be a part of it. And then we're going to talk about the international aspect of it. But, Billy, you participated in that qualifier. What was your take on it when you participated? I really enjoyed it, Biggs. Uh, I was lucky. I, I was pulling double duty. I was representing Biggs Golf Ball. Then uh, I worked with uh, Randy Tatlinger. Uh, we, we did golfing around. We were filming and stuff like that. So I got to do a lot of neat interviews of the actual players. Uh, I got to harass them a little bit. You know, they, they had a couple of guys that were actually, uh, you know, Irish. So I asked them if they were spying for the Ireton team. Uh, we had a lot of guys that actually played in past events and actually had gone to Ireland. Uh, we did get spanked from what I heard, but, you know, they, they, they loved it. And they're coming back for more and, and the event's growing. And from what we're, we're hearing now, there's a lot of new things coming for 2019-2020 uh, season. Ours was a qualifier. They're going to be playing now in Bay Hill. 
in a couple months. Uh, so I'm really interested in covering that one and meeting the guys again and seeing who comes over from Ireland, and hopefully the USA takes it this year. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, being hosted here in the United States and being played at the Arnold Palmer Bay Hill, and uh, I'm looking forward to that event that's going to be taking place. We'll talk about that in the second part of this interview, uh, what that means for those guys and being hosted here in the United States and where it's going to be hosted next year, as a matter of fact. But let me introduce our next guests here on Big's Golf Talk. United States Golf Challenge USGC, sponsored by Tito's Handmade Vodka, announced that it is currently booking local qualifying sites for its fifth season of selecting Team USA for the 2020 International Kings Cup. Two-person teams will attempt to qualify from local qualifying sites across the U.S. for the USGC National Qualifier September 12th through the 14th, 2019 at the Legends Resort in Myrtle Beach. Regional Directors John Downey and Pat Polson joins us now on Big's Golf Talk. Gentlemen, I hope you guys have a Bloody Mary with Tito's Vodka in it sitting next to you on this lovely, gorgeous Saturday morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, morning, boys. Let me turn to Pat Polson first. Pat, USGC, where did it start and why did it start? Uh, It started back, it was a concept back in 2014 that... uh, kind of mirrors the the ESPN two-player challenge that was in existence just shortly before that. Uh, that program kind of went away, and we wanted to uh, pay a tribute to Arnold Palmer, who we felt is the uh, golf's greatest ambassador, and uh, we wanted to do something in honor of him. Let's talk about how this is done. Local qualifiers, obviously, is the start of it. John Downey, is this open to pros? Is it open to amateurs? What does the United States Golf Challenge do for the golfer out there? Well, basically, we provide an opportunity for two-player teams uh, to compete against their peers, um, as you know, in golf. And then to answer the other question, uh, it's really not designed for pros. It's designed for the amateur golfer. But as you know, there's just not a lot of opportunity for golfers to really play in team events, represent their country, and that's what the USGC does. It provides um, a pathway for golfers to do just that. How does golfers get involved with the United States Golf Challenge to participate and, you know, participate in a local qualifying? Well, we, right now, we're working on getting Qualifiers uh, set up in various parts of the country. Uh, a golfer could go to USGC, uh, usgolfchallenge.com. Uh, we should have uh, pretty soon qualifiers listed there. Um, they can Anybody can sign up. You don't have to be a member. You just have to have a verifiable index, you and your team player, and there's information there. And then they sign up. They participate in a qualifier, and that gives them the opportunity to qualify to the next stage, which is the national championship, where that's that's where we'll get the teams for the uh, International Kings Cup, the U.S. team. Are the entrance, entry fees based on where the local qualifier is going to be played at? Not really. It's, a, it's the same entry fee for all golfers. The only difference is um, the golf course fees, you know, understandably. You know, depending on where, what region you're in, golf costs more than another, another event. But it's, it's the same entry fee regardless of what part of the country you come from. Do you guys limit on how many local qualifying events that one golfer can participate in throughout one year? No. No. Well, so here's the purpose of the qualifying. If, say, you participate in a qualifier and you either win – win the qualifier or you finish in the top 30 percent you're now eligible to play in the national championship the only reason you'd want to participate in additional qualifiers is for example if a qualifier has 15 teams the winning team will earn a free exemption into the national championship so let's say you played in a qualifier that only had eight teams well you wouldn't really have a chance to to get earn the exemption. You'd earn the invitation, but not the exemption. Now, if a qualifier, you're looking around and 
one about, let's say, two weeks later is at, at a course, you know, 20 miles from you or 30 miles, and you see that they're going to have 15 or more teams, and you go, I want to participate in that for a chance to win that qualifier and earn the exemption. So that would be the only time I, I would see. Is, and then, of course, if you didn't qualify, then you could play in another qualifier to try and qualify, but no. You, you're basically trying to up yourself if you can. Once you qualify, you don't, the only benefit is going 15 to get the, the total exemption into, you know, into the national. That, that is correct. Okay. Talk about the age groups. What, what age groups are we talking about that, that is, I, I believe it's two age divisions. Is that right? In four flights? Yes. Sir. Yes. There's two age, div- there's two age divisions. Uh, the senior division is players uh, 55 and older. Uh, the open division is for mostly players 54 and younger. However, you can, people that are 55 and older can play in the open division, but people that are under 55 cannot play in the senior division. And then there are, there will be four flights in each division, a championship, an A flight, a B flight, and a C flight. Based on handicap. And, and- Mm-hmm. Based on based on team team index, and you uh, you would base your team index. You would add yourself and your partner together and divide by two, and then you would fall into one of those categories of championship A, B, or C. Go ahead, Billy. Now, big one of the big things that were that was there, you know, for the you know for the national over there when when I went uh, was they use the handicap system for the qualifiers. So you got to have a legit you know index and everything like that. But to my understanding, and, and, and they could correct me if I'm wrong, once you're there at the event, like the event that I went and, and I covered and, and you know and did the interviews, uh, your base it, it's scratch once you get to that event. So you're head to head. To my understanding, once they got to the level that I was at, you know, team A, team B, whatever, they they played each other. Those two teams played, and whoever won that event that they won their, 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 their group, they advanced to what's going to become now the Arnold Cup over here at uh, Bay Hill. So is that correct? So in a, if I went and I said, okay, I'm joining, I got an 18 handicap, my handicap is based in for me to qualify, but once I qualify, I'm going to be put in a group to my ability, not above my ability, not below my ability, but equal to my ability. So we're going to go head on. Once we get past the local qualifiers, correct at the local level, local qualifier level, you uh, the local qualifier plays as a net scoring event. So, uh, because they're typically smaller fields, uh, we can't create two age divisions and four flights in each division uh, when there might only be fifteen or twenty teams. Because then you only have you might only have a flight with you may have a flight with with no players in it. So we're going to play the local qualifier at the at that level will be a net event. Um, when you qualify or you play in the national championship, you will be flighted accordingly, and you will play gross scoring according to your you'll be playing against your peers of your people within your threshold of your handicap. Uh, at the local level, the uh, you're you're encouraged to find a partner within eight handicap strokes of your own because that's the max that we allow. If you, for example, if you were a ten handicap and you your partner was a twenty four handicap, uh, that that twenty four handicap person would need to be reduced to an eighteen in order to meet the parameters of the of the of the rules that we go by, uh, wow. and each. Each team member will receive, at the local level, you'll receive 80% of your handicap. So a 10 handicap would be getting, would be a course handicap, well, not necessarily a course handicap, but you would be getting eight, and then that would be adjusted to the course handicap. So you could be eight for nine or eight for 10, depending on the difficulty of the golf course. Gotcha. Uh, at, at the national level, you will play scratched against players in your own flight. Mm-hmm. Sweet! Wow, I like that. Yep. I actually, like I like that. that. That's what that's what I liked a lot. I like the fact that uh, the handicap didn't come into play. Uh, so y- y- it's a level playing field once right. you get to the other, you know, that next level. There was that's and that's what was fun. 
Uh, and, and not for nothing, you know, during that event, uh, <laughs> somebody that wasn't happy because they didn't golf for really you well. And I was like, okay, you didn't, but it, it's three days. The event was held over three days and they ended up winning <laughs> and going into this national qualifier. And all I heard was complaining like, oh, I did terrible. I did terrible. I did terrible. But you did do terrible. You know what I mean? So right, right. you have a legit shot. You just, every day is a new day. Go out fresh. They have amazing three different setups. I loved it because the worst one is the best one. It, it challenges you and your partner. The alternate shot was my favorite, which most people didn't like, but I thought it's the best because I love it alternate shot. Out. Yeah. 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 It, it, it weeds out, you know, the teams. Right. And that's, what's perfect about it. That eight stroke difference. You, you're going to do it. It's true teamwork during that event. And I, and I like that. I can appreciate it. That being that it's a team event, you need to rely on your partner. It's not a one-man show. It's not a scramble where you just go out there and hit the ball and you're going to play your, the best shot. Every, no, that's not how it's going to be, and that's what I like it. So I like the fact that somebody's capability is not quite up to the, you know to that top level, so it challenges everybody. I, I think it levels the playing field for everybody, the events. And that's why I was like, you know what? This is perfect. It's perfect for everybody and anybody. Because as long as you find somebody within that eight handicap range of yourself, you're going to have a good time. And you can go out there feeling, oh, I did terrible, I did terrible. And now you're going to the Arnold, you know, the Arnie Cup. All right. So, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, before we head into the commercial break here, um, I just want to uh, ask this question. And people can find out more information at usgolfchallenge.com. That is usgolfchallenge.com. It's a two person team. However, have you ever seen one person says, you know what, I just don't have a second guy. I don't have a partner. Have you ever had the request that somebody be partnered up with somebody else? Well, right now, uh, yeah, right now, we, we've we had golfers do that, but it's because of the number of golfers we man, you know, would end up managing. Yep. We really aren't in a position to be matchmaker, okay? Right. So I I would simply say, to those golfers that say, hey, I just don't have a partner, right? Maybe go to your local club, go to your local course that you frequent a lot and ask the, the, the club, you know, the club pro there. Cause a lot of times they have golfers who are in the same situation. They may not know one another, but they don't know who to ask. And that's what I would suggest. Great. Talk great to them advice, and they John. might be able to get somebody for you. That's some great advice, John. Absolutely. USGolfChallenge.com is the website. When we come back, we'll talk more about the international side of this, this lovely challenge and where are they going next and where they will be at 2019 and where they will be at in 2020. More Big Golf Talk coming your way here on the Lake County Sports Network, Stitcher Radio, iHeartRadio, and on Spotify. We'll be right back right after this. Hey, everyone. Biggs Golf Talk is now on iHeartRadio. Download the app for free or go to iHeart.com and search for Biggs Golf Talk. Be sure to save us as a favorite so that you'll know when we're on. Join the millions of iHeartRadio listeners and listen to Biggs Golf Talk. Golf Talk for golfers. Have you ever seen a tour pro line up a putt with a dirty ball? No way. A clean ball rolls accurately. And accurate putts mean lower scores. The solution? Ready Putt. It's the putter cover reinvented. Ready Putt has a patented ball cleaner that's made to absorb and retain water. All you need to do is add water, and it remains wet throughout your round, giving your ball the perfect shine. It also has a magnetic surface to hold your ball marker and divot repair tool. Let's say you switch putters from round to round using a blade, mid mallet, or large mallet. Ready Putt Original has you covered. The universal design with its unique foam insert fits 99% of all putters. It has the same water retaining ball cleaner and magnetic surface features, so you'll have everything you need to prepare your putt. Look, putting is hard enough. Accurate putts start with a clean ball, and a clean ball starts with Ready Putt. For more information about Ready Putt, visit ReadyPutt.com. That is ReadyPutt.com. Dot com. Clean it and sink it. 
Golf Dots is a unique high resolution ink transfer to personalize your golf game. Golf balls, golf shoes, and clubs, Golf Dots can personalize it for you. Golf Dots confirms to the USGA rules and doesn't alter the trajectory of your golf ball. Tour proven on all major tours, Golf Dots is designed and made in America. Many styles to choose from that will fit every golfer's personality. New styles are being released on a regular basis. So to order your Golf Dots, visit www.golfdots.com. That's G-O-L-F-D-O-T-Z dot com. Golf Dots is also available in many golf shops. The website for Golf Dots is www.golfdots.com. And if you enter promo code BIGJOHN15, that's B-I-G-G-J-O-N-15, you get a discount for your Golf Dots. Or call 847-829-4238. Personalize your golf game today with Golf Dots. Welcome back to Big's Golf Talk right here on the Lake County Sports Network, Stitcher Radio, iHeartRadio, and on Spotify. Still coming up, it is Big's Product or Service of the Week, sponsored by U.S. Golf Challenge with Tito's Vodka. Drink responsibly, and you really need to be 21 to enjoy a good Tito's drink. Big John Vic, Bill the Golf Father Cuevas, and we're back with our guests from the U.S. Golf Challenge, John Downey and Pat Polzin, and talked about local qualifying in the first part of the interview, guys, and talked about how people could get involved. Let's talk about the international aspect of this. Now, these guys are fighting for local qualifying with the U.S. Golf Challenge to be a part of Team USA to take on the international team. How, how is that international team decided? Is there international qualifiers, local qualifiers? How does the U.S. Golf Challenge hear, and who do they hear from to say, we are sending our international team to take on your team? Well, cur- currently we have Ireland, okay? So uh, we have Lynn McCool uh, uh, out there that, that manages that. And she, so far, from what we've heard, she's got four qualifiers. In fact, uh, Pat just told me to, today uh, that – She's got uh, a pretty good uh, feel for one of the qualifiers, so they're they're getting anxious to get their qualifiers. So it's similar to what we do. Uh, her marketing is a little different than what we do, but it's still the same concept. She runs a qualifier to qualify individuals to um, participate and represent Team Ireland. Um, now we're hoping that we're going to expand to more countries. Uh, that's that's the growing part of what we're doing, but currently the one full team that we do, the U.S. does compete against is Team Ireland. So do you guys, like, you, you partner up. You mentioned her name, Lynn McCool. Do you partner up with Lynn McCool and kind of con- kind of just correspond what events she's actually hosting and uh, qualifiers that she's actually hosting so you're up to speed to what they're doing on the Ireland side? And, and when you're adding more international countries into this, is that just going to be like a cohesive thing that all all you guys sit in a meeting and say, this is what we did here in London. This is what we did here in Ireland. This is what we did in Germany. Is th- that how you guys are going to look at that? Yeah. the uh, We're fortunate that Ireland is, is able to produce a 16-player field. Uh, moving forward, going into 2020, uh, we are going to allow – country it's tough to it's tough to you know send a team of 16 players anywhere in the world yeah and 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 play an event you have airfare you have you know it's going to be a five night stay at, at wherever we are the resort uh it's kind of expensive so what we're what we're doing for the international uh for outside countries that want to get involved with this is we're allowing them to send as many two player teams as as they can afford to start out with and kind of get get into the groove of the of the international kings cup so uh currently we have we have denmark that's interested we have uh iceland that's interested uh we've been getting a, a lot of action uh indicating that they're not going to be able to send a 16 player team but they would like to start getting involved. So we're going to allow those teams to play and we're going to, we're going to change the format, not the format. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to change the international Kings cup a little bit. Um, 
if you send a 16 player team, you'll, you will be competing for the King's cup. Uh, we will be recognizing and awarding, uh, individual two player teams in, uh, in their flights. So someone in the open B flight, we could end up having in, in we could end up having four teams competing against each other in the open B flight. Uh, we may have five teams in the senior C flight playing against each other. Um, and there may only be two or three countries that send a full 16 player team. So those, those two player teams will be recognized and awarded if they are the, if they gain the most points throughout that 54 hole competition. So you don't have to have a 16 player team to get involved with the international Kings cup right now. Nice. Which is good. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a good thing. I mean, because for, for those people that want to participate, uh, the whole thing is people want to win and knowing that you're going to win something, uh, might inspire if, 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 you know, I just want the swag. I just want the swag. Yeah. That's all I want. You just want the swag. <laughs> well, the swag is nice. They got some nice swag. They do. There. That's what I'm saying. But, I mean, yeah, but you know, but, and, re- and really, 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 what we're hoping for is that countries can send one or two teams that uh, in 2020, and then they get a taste of the Kings Cup, and they're like, "Wow, yeah." Yeah. Go back and, say, uh, and, oh, and they, yeah. they try to get they try to get eight or twelve or field a full team of sixteen the year mm-hmm. after that. Well, and and it. I and I think when when they see the show, they're going they're going to want to get a full team and play for the Kings Cup. Exactly, and, and that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I think it's pretty neat because you're representing your country. You're going in there, and if you win, you win your division. Period. You know, you you got that, and that's the recognition you're bringing home. I did win that division. I won. There was four other teams. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't part of the, the, the cup, but I was still part of play. And I think that's kind of cool when you're representing your country and you're playing against other countries and you win. You know what I mean? You don't go home. I mean, you're going home. You got nice whatever. Whatever you guys going to do, a trophy or whatever. I beat everybody else. I beat three countries, four countries, five yeah. countries, whoever yeah. and it might be. I think it's really neat. And the experience is priceless, though. That, you know what I mean? That, there, there's one more... Yeah, there's one more. There's one more facet to all of this. Okay. Okay. Um, take aside the golf. Yep. Um, think of the connections that you're going to make um, with people. Okay. You don't know what business background they are. Uh, you don't know what their their position in life is. You don't know the travel. So you never know that here you are meeting somebody from a different country and you have a like interest. So it's a little more than that. And. Um, it is fun, as you as you said, Bill, to to play for something. Now I can tell you, we we have uh, our team has a meeting every Monday, and we're constantly evolving this thing so that we can be more inclusive to people. And this was one of the ways to to be more inclusive by having an individual portion, so yep. that now countries. So now you know, and again, we're looking to evolve to where right now you have to have a sixteen player team for the king's cup that's because yep. we combine the senior flight and an yep. open flight well we're talking about what if a country can field an eight man you know an eight man team but they represent mm-hmm. say the open flight or they represent the senior flight yeah. now we have mm-hmm. two so like i said we're we're evolving we're evolving into making it more accessible to teams and players mm-hmm to participate in the international event. But for just to touch on what you said, when I interviewed a lot of the players, uh, the guys that did go to Ireland, they still talk with the people that they played against yeah. in Ireland. They became a family. And some of them were actually, even without playing this year, were actually planning trips to go stay with them. The players in Ireland are opening up their home to some of the guys and even some of the guys that actually didn't make it, that, you know, lost in, in the qualifier that I met, they were still going to Ireland. They were, they were going to Ireland to, to, to meet up with the guys that they played with last year. They still talk to them and, and FaceTime and do all that stuff. So that's pretty cool when you, you're traveling around and meet, meeting people from other countries 
and they're taking you into the home and extending that family to you because golf does a lot for everybody. Golf, golf is, a, is a great joiner of people from all around the world. And I think that's pretty neat that you can go somewhere, make that bond. And they've even had guys from Ireland come to the stateside. So that's pretty cool. I think it's a nice bridge that you guys have with this as well on that personal basis. You know, besides I want to win, I want to win, I want to win. You're taking a lot more than just winning. There, there's really no losers. You're, you're bringing home a family with you. Yeah. Like I said in that the segment that when we talked last year, we were in Ireland for the third consecutive year. And uh, we got beat up pretty good this year uh, in 2018. But when you left there and – if you kind of paid attention at night when everybody was together, both countries together and having a great time and, and they became friends, the golf almost became secondary. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was, it was really, you met, you met last year, the field was actually 12, it was a 12 player field. You left, we went, we flew home with 12 new friends. It was, yeah. uh, it, it was, it was pretty special. It really was. You're in your fifth season. The fifth annual International Kings, Kings Cup will be played where? The 2020, in May of 2020, we will be playing at Castle Rock Golf Club in Northern Ireland, right on the North Atlantic coast. Ooh. Okay. I'm drooling. I, I, I <laughs> Hey, like, hey, oh, you know man. what? Hey, we have to get a hold of our travel agent, Billy, and uh, we need. I think we need to do a live show from the Northern Ireland in in, uh, in the spring of twenty twenty. Oh man! Right, right, right on the ocean. That's right. The ocean uh, yeah. Side. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I, they have a beach and every, they have a beach and everything. It, it's uh, it looks like a fantastic place. You can go to their website and and yeah. and watch their video, and it's a pretty impressive video. Now, if international players that are not familiar don't know who Lynn McCool is to get a hold of her, but wants to actually get their country involved, who should they reach out to then? Uh, any any country that's involved that wants to get involved, uh, you could contact Bob at usgolfchallenge dot com. That's and it. we can we can direct we can direct anyone to the correct channel that they might need to talk to. Perfect. People want to find out more information about the International Kings Cup and what it represents. How can they find out more information? Uh, they can go to U- they can go to usgolfchallenge.com and we have a tab International Kings Cup and if you click on that tab you can read everything about it. There's videos and uh, and you can see you can see the format, you can see the rules and regulations and and see what it's all about. I, I think there's thing. a isn't there an info isn't there an info link to Pat on there that if they want more information uh, they can go to the info tab and that will send an email to to us and we can provide more information to them. Now, one point I want to make too: mm-hmm. some of your some of the golfers out there, if they, if they don't if they don't find a qualifier in their area here in the United States, and they think their club would like to have a qualifier. All they need to do is reach out to us, and we can give them some kind of guideline on how they can introduce this to their local club to try and get a qualifier set up in their hometown. Great point, John. Very great point. Hey, Bill, you said you had something. I got. I got one thing. The girls, the women. We. I, I'm seeing pictures <laughs> on the site. I, I mean, we're talking about growing. You got. I mean, how can, are we going to have like a, a his and hers? Can, can they do it? Is it is it, you know be, be, being that's based on handicap? I can't see if of a girl. But then again, you got the different tees. But I mean, we got to get the women involved. Absolutely, no. We have no restrictions to to women playing in local qualifiers or being a part of the national championship or representing Team USA. There, yeah. Women will women will play from tees the approximate yardage of where they established their handicap from and we welcome them they will improve the facade of the u.s golf challenge if they come out and play yeah so the golf challenge is for everyone yes. it's a man or woman girls if you if you got game you you don't even have to I mean it's based on your handicap yes if you want to 
new people, make new friends, and challenge yourself because, I mean, I, I played famously. You know what I mean? That's how I got into golf. And it was one of the best experiences that I have. I still, I still, I'm terrible at golf, but I, I love it. Yes, love you are. Rotary between. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I love it all. Yeah, I admit it. I don't care, but I love the game. I, I love what it's given to me. I love the people that I, that it's put into my life. And, and sometimes that's priceless. There, there's no, nothing Amen. you can do to take that away. So for me, th- this thing is opening up all kinds of doors. And I think that that's where the aspect is. For those that are competitive, yeah, good and great. For those want, that want to go out, meet new people, you know, and qualify to go to a different country, experience something like golfing at Bay Hill, go for it. These, these are opportunities that are huge. They're huge for the golfer to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. John and Pat, thank Absolutely. you so much for joining us here on Big's Golf Talk, talking about the United States Golf Challenge and the International Kings Cup. And congratulations on going on to your fifth season. Man, man, I hope 20 years from now we sit here and we are talking about it still at that time. Thanks for having us, guys. Thanks for having us. Enjoyed it. All right, guys. Thank you. For more information about the U.S. Golf Challenge and how you can participate, visit usgolfchallenge.com. usgolfchallenge.com. Sign up for a local qualifying event. You never know. You might see Big John Vic and Bill the Golffather Cuevas at the National Qualifier in September at the Legends Resort in Myrtle Beach. But you have to qualify to get there. Two-person teams will attempt to qualify from local qualifying sites across the U.S. We want you to be a part of it. USGolfChallenge.com. You can also visit BiggsGolfTalk.com, B-I-G-G-S, GolfTalk.com. We have a link up there as well. Click on the U.S. Golf Challenge logo, and I'll take you right to their website. More Bigs Golf Talk coming your way. The Spider Divot Tools revolutionary new design is better for greens and makes ball mark repairs easy. No sharp ends or dirt in your pocket, the spider achieves amazing results with little or no skill. With a simple push-pull action, the spider makes ball marks disappear quicker and better for a smoother putting surface. The spider includes a magnetic ball marker and is made of milled aluminum to last a lifetime. It also makes a great gift for your next tournament and that special golfer who has it all, the spider tool from Instagolf is a must-have in every golfer's bag. Visit www.instagolf.net today and enter promo code BIGG Golf Talk to get 10% off your purchase and be sure to check out all of their great products by Instagolf. That's instagolf.net, I-N-S-T-A, golf.net. A golf ball that performs for you. The Encore Avant 55, hot off the tee, a formulated core that delivers more energy and utilizes soft cell technology to achieve ultra-low 55 compression. This blend of innovation and simplicity provides more distance and greater feel. The caliber, maximum accuracy, a patent hollow metal core creates significant rifle spin while reducing side spin, allowing the ball to travel along a straighter trajectory. The Encore Elixir Tour Ball, hot list winner. The premium cast urethane cover delivers a soft and pure feel off the club face and gives the Elixir ultimate green side control, durability, and unmatched putting performance. Be sure to check out their combo packages and sign up for the loyalty program. Gift cards are also available. For more information, their website is www.encoregolf.com and be more with Encore. This is Big's Product of the Week. Each week, Big John and the Golf Father select a golf product to feature. Here is Big John Vic and Bill, the Golf Father Quavis, with this week's Product of the Week. Oh, as we tee it up on 16, 17, and 18 here on Big's Golf Talk, it is that time for Big's Product Service of the Week here. And with that Product Service of the Week is the one and only, the Golf Father, Bill Cuevas. And Billy, I got to tell you, man, now that we are two hours, I get hungry. Oh, yeah. We, we all get hungry, Big. But, you know, we, we're out on the golf course, and we, we talked about a couple weeks ago uh, when we were preparing for the 2019 season. And, you know, we, we discussed that, you know what, we, we haven't had companies on 
uh, that talk about food for the golf course and their specific ones. And we decided that we we're going to start touching on them and do some segments. And, and that's what today we're going to touch on chef's cut real jerky. And we know this very well, right, Big? Because yes. I think we went and stole a few of their snacks. And cut, well, we borrowed a few of their snacks several times during the, the PGA show. Now, you know, they have subscriptions and everything, and we're hoping to have them on the show uh, later on and do some things. Maybe see if they want to be interested in doing a giveaway, uh, you know, anything. We'll see what's going on. But the most important thing is this Chef's Cup, they got, you know, real beef jerky. They got bacon jerky. They got hickory sticks, which are nice hot beef sticks uh, with a nice spicy kick to it. They got regular hickory ones. They also had this kicker. Ooh, I love the kicker. It was really, really good. They had the teriyaki. I think that was one of your favorites. It was. Uh, but Yeah. But you know what? Re- one of the favorite things that I tried of theirs, and I don't know if you got to try it, was their bacon. They have this real bacon, this uh, you know bacon jerky out there, and it's applewood, and it had mm. like pepper on it, everything. Mm. And this thing was crazy. I was like, no way! It was so good. And you know what? I mean, I'm reading the contents in the back. It's like 120 calories, and I'm like, what? Give me two bags. I can, I'm going to take two bags for, for the turn, you know what I mean? Because it's that good. Uh, and it really comes in, you know, in proportion, you know, to what you're supposed to allegedly eat. Uh, but that bacon was huge. It was yummy, Biggs. But I'm thinking we got to get them on the show, learn more how they're making it, because there was a lot of stuff. I know they're using premium cuts. They're high in quality and protein, gluten-free, nitrate Real free. steak yeah. jerky. Yes, and I want, I, you know, we talked to the gentlemen, uh, the, the creators of it and what they're doing. They got more stuff that we don't know about, Biggs. I know about, but the guests don't know about uh, what they're working on. And it might be with stuff in Florida. I'm not going to say any more. Listen, but listen to, to this. Have them on the show. Listen to this, uh-huh. Billy. Listen to these flavors. Original recipe, obviously. Chipotle cracked pepper, which I had here at the house. Asian style mm-hmm. teriyaki, which I tried out in Florida. Sweet and spicy. Yep. Teriyaki, buffalo style, that's the one I want to try. Honey barbecue, another one. The one that you talked about, Billy. Applewood. Maple. Oh, are you a do you like hot stuff? Do you like woo spicy? How about some sriracha? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And backyard barbecue, baby. I mean, and and not to mention the beef sticks that they have too. Mm-hmm. And the chicken sticks. Yeah, I mean the, the bits. I mean the bits, the beef stick that they had. They had that kick, the kicker. Woo, baby! That had some good kick to it. I loved it. And I, I guess we, we need to get. And you know what else? They got buffalo style chicken. You, did you mention that? I did. <laughs> well, in those chicken, so you got to figure they got. In the, they got chicken. They got steak. They got bacon, and they're all good. And then they have. I, I you got to check it out on their site. They have a chef sample. I uh, just looking at that. Yeah, it has it, it, it has it all. It has steak, chicken, turkey, and pork. Woo! And something yeah. new on their website: Korean barbecue. Yeah, that's chicken so, jerky. Mm-hmm. Smoked I'm gonna, chicken I'm gonna breast. Have to reach out. I'm going to reach out to them and uh, talk to them. And see if maybe, I mean, I know they want to be on the show, but I want to see if we can kick it up for our listeners and maybe get a chef sampler. If they're willing to give out a, you know, a yeah. giveaway. Yeah. You know, because I mean? that chef sampler has one, two, three. It has eight packages. And you get steak, you get pork. chicken, you get turkey, and uh-huh. you get pork in that chef sampler. Yeah. Oh. And, I mean, I didn't, try, I didn't try a bad flavor of anything when we were there. I know. And they kept rotating. They had all kinds of good stuff over there. So I, I'm going to shoot for that. I think that, that yeah, we're going to do that. We're now, one good thing about Chef's show. Cut Jerky as well is Chef's mm-hmm. Cut is available in supermarkets. They are also available at, like, quick trip, you know, uh, gas stations, maybe a gas station near you. So it is available mm-hmm. to the public in, in retail but I'll tell you what, folks, they have a, su- a subscription service, and I want to talk to these guys about that, that probably you want to yep. look into. 
Oh, yeah. They're, they're really good. And, you know, not for none, but you need protein. Yeah, absolutely. Protein's going to help you on that golf course, you know what I mean? So it's really good. And, and, and those subscriptions are really, really good, what they have. You know, the discounts that you have, they're shipping, free shipping anywhere in the United States. And you pick your schedule. You decide when you want it, how you want it. If you want to stop it, at any time you can cancel, you can swap, you can pause it. You can do anything like you do with your mail. I'm not going to be home. Don't deliver it. You can save up to 15% on each delivery. Can you imagine that? Wow. You get to free shipping. You save 15%. You manage the schedule. You pause the schedule. Oh, I'm going away on vacation. Don't send it this month. Make You can change it. You want to swap out this one for that one? It's all free. You can do that. Do that. Cancel at any time if you want. This subscription and save is really, really good. Absolutely. Well, that is your product of the week, Big's product of the week. Check them out at Chef's Cut Real Jerky. Dot com. And you know what would go real good with that jerky there, Billy? Uh, I know what you're going to say. This segment, Tito's Biggs. Vodka. That's right, baby. Tito's Vodka. That's right. Biggs Product of the Week is sponsored by the U.S. Golf Challenge with Tito's Vodka. May, be sure you qualify for the King's Cup today. And when you drink a Tito's Vodka, make sure you're over 21 and drink responsibly. I think this jerky would go really good right now with a Bloody Mary. That does it for Big's Golf Talk. I'm going to go off and have some Chuff's Cut Jerky and a Bloody Mary. And Billy, until next week, my friend, good golfing and you matter. Hey. Here I come